Welcome gamers to another edition of GamerZone, where we play games, talk games, and share with you the latest in gaming, with me, Kume Suryani. First Person Shooter Games are a sub-genre of the shooter game centered on guns and other weapon-based combat play through a first-person perspective, with the player experiencing the action through the eyes of the protagonist and controlling the player character in a three-dimensional space. Mostly an adventure-type game, however, in recent years, it has been a tournament of sorts and is played in a multiplayer setting, with games like Player Unknown Battleground and Counter-Strike and Call of Duty becoming an eSports setting for most tournaments. It is such a wondrous experience, either you're playing solo or in a team. But before that, let's hear what's new in the gaming industry. Phobia Sent Divna Hotel is a newly announced survival horror game that invites players to survive in a monster-infested hotel. It is essentially a resource management and puzzle-solving game akin to Resident Evil and Silent Hill. The story, as stated in its official website, will be focused on an amateur journalist Roberto. As he travels to Santa Catarina following a tip from a friend, he will need to use his investigative skill to uncover the truth and also survive when reality is turned upside down with the discovery of a camera that reveals different timelines, fanatical cult, human experiments and apparitions roaming the halls. If you have been playing Dead by Daylight and been awaiting a new chapter, then wait no more as the new chapter to the new game has just been released. Dead by Daylight is a multiplayer action horror game where one player takes on the role of a brutal killer and the other four play as survivors. As a killer, your goal is to sacrifice as many survivors as possible. As survivors, your goal is to work together to evade, escape, and most importantly, stay alive. Now here's a fun idea. What if we mash up all the characters from the Warner Bros. universe then pit them all in a fighting game? Well, this is the idea, turn the game. Multiverses is an upcoming crossover fighting game and the best part, it is free to play. The game will feature various characters within the Warner Bros. Discovery Catalog. The game is set to be released in July 2022. Amongst the roster of the game will feature characters from Adventure Time, DC Universe, Game of Thrones, the Iron Giant, Looney Tunes, Scooby-Doo, Steven Universe, and Tom and Jerry. There are rumors there will be more characters from different franchises, but as for now, it is still a rumor, and we'll be waiting for its release. And that's all the update from our gaming community, and now we'll move on to our weekly list. Now this was probably the first game for most gamers. Remembering that first person shooter boom back in 1998 that brought in a wave of other FPS games. Valve produced a series of other games following Half-Life such as the now ever popular Counter-Strike which started as a mode for Half-Life, Day of the Feet and Sven Co-op. Half-Life received acclaim for its graphics gameplay and narrative and won over 50 PC Game of the Year awards. It is considered one of the most influential FPS games and one of the best video games ever made. Medal of Honor is an FPS game developed by DreamWorks Interactive and published by Electronic Arts for the PlayStation released in 1999. The game is known to have a really good story which isn't a shocker as the story is created by film director and producer Steven Spielberg. In Medal of Honor, the play takes the role of the fictional Lieutenant Jimmy Patterson, a former C-47 Skytrain pilot in the Air Transport Command who was later recruited into the Office of Strategic Services DOSS. The game takes place near the end of World War and the game is to complete various missions in the OSS. The game includes a split-screen deathmatch mode, pitting two players against each other in various maps. Now who remembers playing their first Halo in the Xbox? 
this was where you first met Super Soldier Spartan, Master Chief, and Cortana the AI Companion. Halo Combat Evolve is a game developed by Bungie and published by Microsoft Game Studios and was the launch game for Microsoft's Xbox video game console released in 2001. The game was later ported for PC and Mac in 2003. Halo is set in the 26th century with the player assuming the role of the Master Chief, a cybernetically enhanced super soldier. The Chief is accompanied by Cortana, an artificial intelligence. Players battle aliens as they attempt to uncover the secrets of the eponymous Halo, a ring-shaped artificial world. After the whole FPS boom with fighting in a war and also shooting each other in multiplayer rage, Valve eventually developed a new game where working together is the key to survival and instead of shooting each other, we get to mow down hordes of zombies. Set during the aftermath of a zombie outbreak on the east coast of the United States, the game pits four protagonists, dubbed the survivors, against a horde of infected. Left 4 Dead uses Valve's proprietary source engine with four game modes, a single-player mode in which ally characters are controlled by AI, a four-player co-op campaign mode, an eight-player online versus mode, and a four-player survival mode. In all modes, an artificial intelligence dubbed the director controls level pacing and item placements in an attempt to create a dynamic experience and increase replay value. The game had spawned a sequel titled Left 4 Dead 2 and also a spiritual successor to the franchise, Back 4 Blood. Now, our list wouldn't be complete if we didn't mention Overwatch revolutionizing the team-based multiplayer shooter where instead of given different classes of characters, we are given a diverse cast of characters with different sets of abilities and skills and pits them against each other in a map. It's that feeling when you get to play Dota, but instead of the overhead view you get from playing Dota, you will be playing from the perspective of the hero itself. Developed by Blizzard Entertainment and given a grand release in 2016, Overwatch assigns players into two teams of six with each player selecting from a large roster of characters known as heroes with unique abilities. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is a game developed by Infinity Ward and published by Activision. It is the fourth main installment in the Call of Duty series. The game breaks away from the World War II, setting off previous entries and is instead set in modern times. The story takes place in the year of 2011, where a radical leader has executed the president of an unarmed country in the Middle East, and an ultra-nationalist movement ignites a civil war in Russia. The conflicts are seen from the perspective of a U.S. Marine Force Recon Sergeant and a British SAS Commando and are set in various locales such as the United Kingdom, the Middle East, Azerbaijan, Russia, and Ukraine. The multiplayer portion of the game features various game modes and contains a leveling system that allows the player to unlock additional weapons weapon attachments and camouflage schemes as they advance. Now since we can mention a lot of game, we'll just give some honorable mention. Vault 76, our future begins. You to the gate! For you are my children and I am your father!
And that's it for our list of the week. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back gamers to GamerZone. And this week on our segments of recommended games, we are recommending... Road 96 is a 2021 adventure video game developed and published by French studio DGX Art as part of the Omen Presents program in collaboration with HP. The game is set in a fictional nation of Patria, run under a dictatorship. The player controls the actions of several teenagers as they attempt to flee the country. The player character meets seven non-player characters across each playthrough with procedurally generated interactions. And upcoming games we cannot wait for the release is... Redfall is an open-world co-op FPS from Arkane Austin, the award-winning team behind Prey and Dishonored. Continuing Arkane's legacy of carefully crafted worlds and love of creative game mechanics, Redfall brings the studio's signature gameplay to the cooperative action and FPS genres. Developed by Arkane Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks, the game is set to be released in the first half of 2023. And that's it gamers, that's it for this week's update. We may be taking a break for a while but rest assured, we'll be back in our next season for more games with more new exciting segments and more lists only on GamerZone. Eat, sleep, game, repeat. See ya!